volume lab. Volume lab is, is similar to viscosity lab with because you're going to be using three, you're going to be using three containers or, or three containers at a minimum. All right. But the difference between your velocity lab and your volume lab, you're using the same fluid. Okay. So for your volume lab, you're going to get three distinct bottles. Or you could do four, it's really up to you. All right, but a minimum of three. All right, so you're going to have three distinct bottles. Um, two of those bottles need to be the same. Okay. So if you did, say you used two, two Coke bottles and then one water bottle. So of those two Coke bottles that you use are the same, you're going to need to cut the back off of one of them. All right, cut the back off of one of them. So then what you will do for conducting this experiment, you're going to, I just say do it in the sink. Okay. So you fill all three of the bottles up uh, with water. Or if you use four, fill all four of them up. Now, one will have the back out, so you're going to actually have to have it upside down. All right. Then you're going to get your phone. You know, it says stopwatch with your phone. <clears throat> then you're going to time. You're going to hit the timer, set the timer from when you open to time you open up your uh, bottle cap and, and how long it takes to drain that bottle completely empty. You're going to write that down okay you write down how long it took the time it took the volume is going to be easy it's going to give you that that's going to be given size of the bottle you fill it up uh to the max so and then the bottle will tell you ah it's a 20 ounce bottle or it's a it's a 24 ounce it's a 32 ounce whatever size it is like you, you you're going to write down that volume then uh that volume divided by the time gives you your volumetric flow rate all right so once you solve that for three distinct bottles, you're going to do it three different times per bottle. So three times per bottle. Each bottle, you're going to fill it up three times, drain it three times, uh, record the time it took to drain that bottle three times. So you're going to get an average. All right. So it'll be an average for each bottle that you use. Okay. So you're going to create a table of the distinct bottles you use. Uh, the time it took you to drain those bottoms, the different volumes, and then the volumetric flow rate of each bottle. All right. Now, what you're going to be solving for is the average velocity, because what you're trying to find out is how these distinct bottles, right, how they are, of, well, not really how, right? You, what you're looking at is <clears throat> how you can solve for a velocity from the volumetric flow rate. Uh, and one thing you're going to look at and you're going to examine is uh, when the bottle has the back on it and when the bottle doesn't have the back on it, how it affects the displacement of the fluid. Like, how does it change the velocity, right? When the back is on it and when the back is off, how does that affect your velocity, okay? And so that's your, and that you're going to discuss that obviously within your report. And you're going to tell me within your conclusion, how does the leaving the back on or cutting it off affect your velocity? You're going to tell me that in your conclusion. All right. So if you have any questions on your uh, volume lab, please let me know. But that's all I have. Thank you for listening.